Hi, my dear Pierre. What are you doing? I'm getting ready to taste some wine that we made last September. Here it's uh, March 24th, 23rd, 24th. Uh, unfortunately, some of the bottles we discovered have some mold on the top. This one doesn't. So we're going to try this one first and see how it is. And then bravely try the others. And I think we're going to get ready to just go ahead and bottle four of these because I think it should be good. The color is really dark and nice. And uh, we wiped down the bottles because they had a little bit of mold on the outside. Um, because it's a very moist, humid environment down in the cantina, in the cellar, near the sea. So anyway, here we go, removing the cork after months of aging. Oh. Mm. Smells good. Smells yeasty. You want to smell? Yes. Sempre nuovo ancora. Okay, we're gonna put it nice and high. We have four bottles ready. It's, uh, I think, four liters. Mm -hmm. We have our caps. You sterilize it. Boiling water, not the best. Oh no, this still has water in it. Ah, making a mess is always a part of the process. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna make sure there's. We'll get the uh, cap ready. This is to close the cap. Ah, yeah, in Italy we use. Bottle caps for homemade wine instead of corks. It's more easy. <laughs> we will see the difference. Okay, so this I'm gonna put inside. What are you doing? Well, I'm gonna siphon. I'm gonna suck the uh, wine from the bottle with this tube and then transfer it to the bottle this way, we will introduce less oxygen than if we aggressively dump it because the oxygen will make the wine go bad even more quickly. So, I will insert the tube here. Mm, the tube is a bit long, but that's okay. And then oh, arrive, arrive. Opa. And it tastes good. Mm, viva, yuppie. Oh, wow, amazing. Mm, it tastes really good. Hmm. Okay. That's about alcohol too. Big man. Come try some. <laughs>